Hi, it's Adam with webstarts.com. Thanks for tuning in. In this short video, I'm going to share with you how to add a photo gallery to your website and then how you can tweak the settings as well as the styles of that photo gallery to make it look just the way that you want. But before I get into the video, let me invite you to tap the subscribe button and also ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and a variety of similar topics. All right, let's jump in. You can see here on this page, I have a photo gallery and I've got, well, it looks like about 12 images in this photo gallery. Now you can use photos or you can use any graphics that you want. Let me show you how I added this to my WebStarts website. Now, if you haven't already signed up for a free account at webstarts.com, just go to webstarts.com, click on the get started, it's free button. And in the next step, you'll be able to select a template to work with. All of those templates are 100% customizable and can be changed at any time, so you can't make a mistake. And we have a very handy sidebar right here that'll help you search for the perfect template by category. Now, I've already signed up and created an account with WebStarts, so I'm just going to log in by clicking on the login option here and here. I'm logged into my WebStarts account and I see the thumbnail to my website. And to begin editing the pages, all I do is hover over that and click Edit Site. Now I can toggle to the page that I want to edit in what's called the page editor. That's the view that you're looking at here by selecting it from the drop down menu in the top left. I'm going to select this page that I created earlier called gallery. And I also placed this text on the page called photo gallery. If you're not sure how to place text on a page, click add and then text and then select the text size you want to add to the page and it appears on the page. All right, when you wanna add a photo gallery to the page, click add, click on gallery, and that opens up the photo gallery modal. From there, you can click on add images, and then you can add images either by uploading them from your local computer, selecting them from your web starts file manager. So these are photos that I uploaded earlier, or you can even use the image library by searching it by keyword or category or even a specific color. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using some images that I previously uploaded to the file manager, and I'm going to be selecting these images that are kind of based on my morning routine. You can just click to select as many of these images as you would like, and then when you're ready to insert them onto your page, all you need to do is click Insert File. There you can see a preview of your photo gallery. Notice if you hover over each one of the images, you can either click on the trash can icon to delete that specific image, or you can click on the pencil icon in order to add a title and description for each image. Those will appear below the photo in the photo gallery when they're clicked to be selected. All right, I'm gonna click insert to add those to my page. And now I'm not totally pumped with the way that my photo gallery looks. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag it into position by centering it on the page. And then I'm gonna use the handles to expand it out kind of to these guidelines that help me make sure that uh, my pages look good on all the different computer resolutions that are out there. So those guidelines are there to kind of give you an idea of where to place uh, your content so that it appears or looks good on all the different computers, whether they be desktops, laptops, or mobile devices. All right, I can double click on this photo gallery if I wanna add another photo to it. So I see I have a total of 11 photos and that means that I wanna add one more. Which one did I miss? Um, we'll just add that one right there. And you can see that I can update it and now it's a nice even number. The next thing I want to show you is that you can click on the photo gallery and then select the settings cog. And from there, you can choose to use a couple of different types of image scaling. You can either center the images in each one of the boxes or you can crop them. I like the crop look for this demonstration, but there are certain times where you just want to center an image in each one of the boxes. The next thing I want to draw your attention to is the ability to change the number of columns. So if I wanted a three column layout, I could simply click the minus button here. And if I want to add additional columns, I can click the plus button. I'm gonna stick with the four columns because I like that for this demo. Selecting the photo gallery again, I'm going to adjust some of the styles. So I'm gonna click on the choose effect or style brush. 
we have some sets of styles that you can choose from. So if you don't want to make a decision about every little style, you can select one of these, and these are some good looking styles. Or if you want to control every facet of the look of your photo gallery, click Customize Style. Under Customize Style, you'll find things like the ability to change the background color behind the grid, the thumbnail color, uh, thumbnail background color, text color. There are just so many options that you can go through here, and you can play with those to get the exact right look. You can, once again, you adjust the image scaling, so if you want a little bit of space between those images, or image spacing, I'm sorry, not scaling. And here you can add a border if you so choose, or you can remove it, and you can even round the corners of your images individually. Down at the bottom here, we have some interesting hover effects. You can click on those, and there are just so many different ones that you can choose from, but basically you can preview those effects by clicking on preview effect, and it will show you what uh, the effect looks like when you hover your mouse over that specific effect. So let's go back down to these effects and then take a look at where you can edit the text that appears as both the title and description upon that hover over. So for example, I'm going to say just soap because this is just a photo of soap. It's pretty, pretty boring actually. This is the soap I wash with. Just entering some generic text here and then I'm clicking update. So now you can see when I hover over that image, it has a title of just soap, and then it says, this is the soap I wash with. And if you want to select a different style, you can do that as well. All you need to do is go back down here and you can see all of the different styles. And like I said, just click on preview if you wanna see what those look like without actually hovering over them. And there are just so many effects here to play with. If you don't want any of that text to just be displayed, you just check that box and it will remove it. So that way you can see the effect, but you won't see the text that you've added for each one of the photos, or you won't have to go through the hassle of adding a uh, text, a line of text or title and description for each photo. One other thing that I wanna show you before we go is just that you can also make your photo gallery full width. So this is perfect if you're on a desktop, laptop, or mobile phone and you want the width of the photo gallery to dynamically change depending on the screen size. So now if you, I save and then I view this gallery, what I'll see here is that it'll take up the full width of my screen. And of course, I still have that effect that I applied to it. That just about covers it for photo galleries. I hope that you enjoyed the video and learned something. Again, if you haven't already gone to Web Starts, you can go there to create your very own free website. And you can see more helpful videos like this by subscribing to the YouTube channel and enable, enabling notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.